I wanted to make a video to share that I'm submitting something to hooping.org, and people who know me know that if I type a lot, it's just better if I read it out loud. It makes it go faster. So there's a reason I'm submitting this and making this video, and I wanted to put a timestamp that I actually submitted it, whether they show it or not. So here's what it reads. And if they don't show it, it's probably because it's really long. So it goes something like this. I wanted to turn my video submission in for Hoop Camp Presenter Invitational 2015. Not because it's Hoop Dance and not because you had a free Hoop Camp t ticket, camp, pass, t tent thing. <laughs> not because of the opportunity to be the center of attention with my own workshop, which kind of scares me. But because dance, something that they were trying to present for this year's Hoop Camp, is something that I not only know I could do, not only something I could teach others and I know I could help others with, but it's such a passion of mine, even if I've unsuccessfully tried sharing it in my community. I feel that dance is meant to help people build their own inner confidence, whether you have a hoop or not. Truth be told, I haven't really felt confident in my skills or ability enough to go out in the community lately, especially when it's usually overshadowed by more famous idols in the area, despite when I finally have enough energy to try to get things going for myself. The excitement and thrill of hoop camp, long worn away from the months since, with a current disconnection of those in my hoop and trust, I told myself, Maybe I'm not supposed to be here. It's all about a certain sexy, fast, flowy, hippie style these days, which seems to be highlighted, and I just, I feel pressured to look or perform a certain way, and, well, I, I don't feel that, well, maybe my time in the hooping light is over. Luckily, a YouTube fan of mine, who I'm, I met at camp, has persisted me since we met, and because of that honest encouragement, I decided to enter the hoop camp contest whether my video was great or not, last minute or not. I actually shot, fo shot footage February 25th or 27th before, but was never happy with how I was telling my workshop layout. I wasn't wearing my yoga or sexy outfit, which might be looked down on because I wasn't super limber anyway and flexible like everybody else. I was just frustrated that I didn't have confidence while comparing myself to others possibly entering out there. So I decided to scrap those clips till I could present it better, while also using my film major editing techniques to make it interesting for you, the viewer, anyway, in case they shared it because they don't know if they are sharing it or not. And this all apparently was last minute. But hey, sometimes you just have to go for it, right? The contest ended March 1st, 10 p.m. I started making the final filming and editing March 1st, the morning of. Sadly, I work retail, and like retail and work, it's unpredictable schedule, even on Sunday afternoons, in the middle of video editing. Sometimes while genius hits, you have to put your dreams on hold for a, rea for a while, for reality, so you could live to fight another day. I know I wouldn't get out until 10 p.m. when the contest was over, but I decided to finish the video nonetheless, at least for myself. Finally, ready to be turned in for my laptop well before 11.59 p.m., my internet went down. It was down all night. I even posted my discontent on my Facebook via phone. It just seemed I wasn't meant to submit my hoop camp submission video. Even when I woke up today, early on March 2nd, so exhausted after staying up at 3 a.m., trying to figure, out, figure it all out with that my eyes are red and puffy, I sulkily walked around the house so the internet was fixed. By 5 p.m., my boyfriend and the only side companion for a while called me from work. I told him what happened, not wanting to sound like a burden or that I wasn't disappointed in the events. He told me I should still submit my video. Because you're Gem John 101, he reasoned. It doesn't mean anything, I said back quietly. He replied, to 17,500 subscri subscribers, it does. And there it was. Even as I watched a video I took of my boyfriend and myself, dancing with little dance experience 13 days prior to the opening of the hoop camp contest without tons of professional experience but having fun and looking like we did anyway even a hoop dancing without actually having a hoop in hand i realized my maybe my video was supposed to be a submission all along even if it's not for contest sake but for those who just wanted to hoop dance for dance's sake whether you want a pre-made video 13 days prior like this one or the one I made really for the contest, which I haven't uploaded yet unless you want me to, I realized the video was trying to reach those who might feel distance for not having a mainstream style. 
I could show people how to look like a professional and feel like a professional, even with some dance techniques in play, as long as you have fun with it. Ultimately, Unleashing the Dancer Within, Gem Gen 101's workshop title, by the way, it can excel your hoop productivity, your beauty, and your style. But that's just what I want to do with my life, hoop dance or not, contest or not, for myself or not. Here's a 13-day prior video below. If not for hooping.org website, then at least something fun for yourself to watch, or fun to watch for yourself. I hope you enjoyed that random rant, and if they accept me entering it late, then great. If not, I don't know if you guys want me to show you the video. It's not that interesting, but I'll talk to you later. Bye.